So it's that time of year again where we all get to update our Macs and make them feel fresh again. I'm Mark Brown from Editor's Keys and in this video I'm going to show you the top five new features of Mac OS Mojave. And if you're a Windows user, don't forget to check out our link above or below this video and you can see our video on the new Windows Update 2. So with every Mac OS update, you should get a faster OS and more security features, but what new front-facing features will you see? Well, I'm going to run you through my top five. The first new feature is Dark Mode, and let me show you that. You can access Dark Mode by going to System Preferences, General, and then you have the new option of selecting Light or Dark Mode. This new mode changes all aspects of your Mac's color tone, including the Dock and Finder. There's also a few extra options to change the color accent of your menus too. Next is Dynamic Desktops. The dynamic wallpaper can be accessed by going to System Preferences, then Desktop and Screensaver. From here, you have new options to choose your new dynamic wallpaper. This will darken as your day goes on, which could help reduce a bit of eye strain. And of course, as morning comes, the wallpaper will head back to being a lighter color. If you've got a messy desktop like me, you'll love this next new feature. It's called Stacks, and let me show you how it works. Activate it by going to the Finder's View menu, and then click Use Stacks. Stacks will then instantly clean up your desktop and pile up similar types of documents. So if I now click PDF or Films, you'll see they all pop out as a new sub-menu. This is a great new feature if you have a lot of images or documents on your desktop. There's now also an updated gallery view, if you're a photographer, you'll love the new gallery view available within Finder. This new view allows you to see much bigger previews of images or documents and also opens a new sidebar which gives you file information and metadata, which is really handy if you're looking for a particular file. There's also the ability to rotate, mark up or select files and then create a PDF that you can send off to your team or a friend. If you take a lot of screenshots, there's now new screenshot features and new markup tools, so let me show you those. It's the ability to take screenshots and then instantly mark them up like you can on an iPhone or an iPad. Press Command plus Shift plus 3 and then like the iOS version, the screenshot will appear in the bottom right corner of your Mac and a new toolbar will appear above the screenshot, giving you the option to add text, a signature or draw over the screenshot, which is really handy for web design projects between teams. Click Done and the screenshot is saved to your desktop, ready to be sent to your teams or a friend. In addition to the new image screen capture, you also have new options to screen record your Mac. Press Command, Shift and 5 and you have the option to select the whole screen, just an app or a selection of the screen which you can then record as a video. There's also options for recording things like mouse clicks or creating a rundown timer before you start. This is really handy if you're creating tutorials for people or if you just need to show a family member how to do something on their Mac. And whilst you could do this with QuickTime before, it's now baked into the OS which makes it much easier to do. So that's my top five. Other new features also include group FaceTime calls, which will be really good for teams, businesses, and sort of catching up with your friends and family. Some of the iOS apps like News and Stocks have also been made into Mac apps as well. So it's cool to see those coming over. Does that mean we might see a touchscreen MacBook Pro in the future? I'm not so sure, but hopefully it means we'll see a mouse coming to the iPad. Another really cool little feature that I didn't want to miss out is the new camera continuity feature. In supported apps like Notes, you can press the button and then it will open up the camera app on your iPhone and allow you to insert the, the photo taken from your iPhone directly into Notes and I think that's really cool. So they're my top five features of Mac OS Mojave but what are some of your favorite features of the new operating system or just Mac in general? Let us know in the comments below as I'd love to know what you think. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, make sure you hit that notification bell and you'll be notified when new videos just like this one come out to the channel. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.